on the first four aspects that you were talking about that help define this Ivy League mindset? What are they? Um, for the first one, we have intelligence. I feel like when you hear intelligence, you think it's straight A's and straight 1600 SAT, 2400 SAT, whatever SAT is now. But no, it's intelligence as far as street smarts, book smarts, understanding your surroundings and understanding what you really want to be. Um, so that's one. And then another one I have is passion. You have to be passionate. You have to know why you're here. What is your desire to be here? And then we go moving forward, you have to have strength. When success comes and when great things come, you're going to have people not want to support you. Yeah. You know, you're going to have people what they call haters. You know, and you have to find a way to be strong, have tough skin. If you have that strength and that tough skin, there's no need to worry. Right. And then the fourth one is grit. What is grit? I mean, grit might be the same thing as passion, but it's different. It's that burning desire inside. Mm. The thing that sticks to your stomach that makes you want to be successful. Right. So you mentioned those first four as being the emerging qualities that someone would need. Now you said you have your next four, which are your established qualities. What are those four terms that you want to talk about? Those, those terms are loyalty. You know, now you hit the stage of where you know you want to be, you're winning now, you're in a different level, but you still have to be loyalty to the people that help you get there. Mm-hmm. And not only loyalty to people that help get there, loyalty to the, the past, the losing. Because you don't want to be too big-headed and not humble right. and then forget where you came from. So then now, now you're winning, now you got to go to the second quality of this, establishing, establishing qualities, which is actually leadership. Because now you're winning. Mm-hmm. And if people expect you to win, they expect you to and they see you as a leader. So now you got to understand what does it take to be a leader? You know, not only does it take to be a leader to tell people what to do, but you got to be able to accept criticism. You have to be able to accept new ideas from different people. Mm-hmm. Now you do all that, now you go to the third one, which is dedication. Okay. You have to be dedicated to this. If you're not dedicated, and if you start to win and just forget where you came from, again, you got to remember where you came from. It's a key term. Right. You, know, you have to be dedicated. You have to figure it out and figure out that you, know, you have to dedicate your time, dedicate your efforts, dedicate your studies things of that nature. And the last thing that falls right into this is sacrifice. Mm. You're winning now. People are going to want you in different places. They're going to need you. They're going to ask for you. People are going to need your advice. All types of stuff. And you have to be able to sacrifice your time. You have to understand that there's going to be times that you want to do certain things for fun, but you have to sacrifice to keep being that leader and to keep being successful. Because don't forget, you can always be replaced. Mm. So if I follow this mindset where the first four tell me I'm an emerging individual and these next four tell me I'm an established individual yes. and I put these together, what happens next? What happens next is the set. That's when the borders remove. Mm. Once you get these steps done, that's when I feel these are the eight Ivy League terms that changes your mindset and helps remove the borders. Mm. And that's the goal of these terms. That's excellent. So we're going to leave you with this. It's been a great conversation, but I want you to be able to impart some knowledge so that you can maybe give some advice to the folks that are watching right now on how they can reach this mindset, cross those borders, and start striving to reach some of the levels of success that you've reached, and then they can go beyond that. Yes, I think the most important part to be successful and remove the borders is remove the comfort zone. You know, if you feel uncomfortable right now, it sounds weird, but get out of it. It's the same thing. If you feel like you're winning all the time, you're never losing, to me, in my personal life, I always like losing. You know, losing has made me become the successful person I am today. So the two things you want to do is this. You want to take your losses and turn them into wins. You want to make sure that you remove yourself out of that comfort zone and start thinking outside the box. And then you'll be able to find what your true passion is. If something makes you feel uncomfortable, if you want to go somewhere to network, or you want to go somewhere, you want to go to college, you might feel uncomfortable, I guarantee once you get into that comfort, after being uncomfortable, you will be successful. Because you're removing yourself from what you normally do. So once again, I has, just have to say thank you. It's been a thank great you, conversation. Um, I'm just excited to be a part of this ride, and I can't wait to continue. So we just want to say thank you to all the listeners, all the viewers, all the people out there, all the lives that you've touched, including you. my own. Um, it's your main man, Mr. Jeff Des, and I'm proud to say I'm sitting here with Design By Law's own Lenny Williams. We'll see you guys next time, right? Yes, sir. Let's do it.